In this presentation, I shall talk about the origin of religion. But before that, I shall share with you some very exciting facts and information regarding the origin of universe, our earth planet and also the origin of man. <coughs> According to the modern science, the cosmos came into being about 18 billion years ago by a phenomenon called the Big Bang. Hindu rishis, however, perceived it yet farther. They realized the cosmos was eternal without a beginning. Many scientists, including the famous physicist Stephen Hawking, now concur with the Hindu view. They discredit the theory of the Big Bang. Our Earth that we live on, along with its solar system, came into being four and a half billion years ago. The solar system is part of a larger galaxy of stars, the Milky Way. If we were seated in a spaceship zooming at the speed of light, 186,000 miles per second, it would take 100,000 years to traverse from one end of the Milky Way to the other. There are again billions of other similar galaxies of stars like this one in the cosmos. These are not mythological figures. These are all scientific by the modern technology. Cosmos is infinite. We simply cannot even imagine its magnitude and enormity. In comparison, human being is very tiny, vulnerable and mortal creature. Sages recognize the futility of man to depend upon his ego. They compared man to a wave of the ocean. It rises and moves because it is with the ocean. Separated from it, the way will perish in a moment. <coughs> Hindu seers have repeatedly prompted man to follow the path of humility and strive to live in harmony and peace. The earliest protoform of human being came into existence around six million years ago in the Sahara Desert of Africa when the being walked on two hind limbs instead of four as his predecessors did. This earliest protoform, however, was quite different from the human beings that we are now. <coughs> they lived, ate and even behaved more like the lower animals. They had much smaller brain then. It was less than 100,000 years ago that the man developed what is called the modern brain. With the advent of the thinking modern brain, man would make rapid strides in his progress. Man would ask himself such questions as who brings the sun, who brings the moon. Man started to attribute superior powers to an unknown command beyond his strength and energy. He in the beginning considered the sun, the sky, the fire, the wind and other natural elements as gods, the supreme authorities. Thinking man gradually understood his humble place in the vast cosmos of God. The Godhood became established. Main activity of the thinking neuron cells of the modern brain would be to restrain the undesirable harmful actions of the lower brain and promote the virtuous deeds of the higher brain. Keeping the thought of supreme God in mind, the actions associated with violence, lust and greed etc. were considered unworthy for human beings and needed to be restrained. And more virtuous actions like love, tolerance, compassion, 
forgiveness, etc., which are the product of the higher superior brain, need to be promoted and encouraged. These superior spiritual deeds are not present in the lower animals. Thus the caveman made the earliest attempts at healing and guiding others. This may be considered as the beginning of human activity in search of religion. The equivalent of religion in Hindu philosophy is dharma, which translates as something that holds. Ancient Hindu seers also conceived that when a thing or being is created, its dharma is embedded in it. For example, the dharma of fire is to burn. Hindu sages then meditated long to discover the dharma of man, Manva dharma. They conceive dharma as an inherent duty of any being in accordance with the laws of the cosmos. Dharma is like the seed of divinity in all human beings. It may not, however, manifest equally in all. The seed needs to be nurtured with many a spiritual practice, sadhana, so it germinates at a proper time in each individual. Religion thus promotes the highest spiritual virtue that a human being may be capable of. God represents the infinite goodness and supremacy. Man may always strive to expand himself spiritually in the image of divine. Thank you for watching this YouTube presentation of my book.